The new $300 million Western Sydney Stadium is meant to be the new home of the Eels, but that is now in serious doubt. Today it was revealed a row with the operators means Parramatta may not have a base next season with the NRL draw just days away. The Western Sydney Stadium is taking form, but negotiations with the Parramatta Eels have gone pear-shaped. We clearly want to play there. We just don't think the deal's fair enough at the moment. The failure to agree terms with the ground operator has left the very real prospect that Parramatta will not have a home ground next year at Parramatta. The NRL draw deadline closes today and the league is nailing down its playing schedule next week. They've taken a position we're not comfortable with. With the government pouring billions into a number of controversial sports stadiums, the stalled talks became jeers in Parliament House. Isn't your stadium strategy a complete shambles? You support the stadium. You're on two calls. See, he's admitting it. Parramatta have options, you know. And good on the eels for saying we won't pass on these exorbitant food and drink prices. The stadium, which is now due to open in April, already has a rugby league team, the Tigers, signed on. But Seven News can reveal that the Waratahs rugby union side is also close to doing a deal. I've got no doubt that the Parramatta Eels will be playing at Western Sydney Stadium. This is a fantastic stadium. The Aboriginal name Parramatta roughly translates to place of the eels. That may no longer be the case. Sean Berry, 7 News. Fuel prices have hit a four and a half year high with some service stations now charging around $1.70 a litre. And drivers are being warned it's the new normal and we should get used to it. Penrith drivers felt the sting at the petrol pump this morning and at Marylands, the price hike bit hard. It's too expensive, I think. It's ridiculous and it shouldn't be this price. Honestly, my milk was cheaper. It's no wonder they were queuing up out the driveway across town. We need to wait for cheaper petrol these days because everywhere expensive. A dollar thirty-nine that used to seem steep, now considered dirt cheap. So you're saying the big service stations are just gouging their customers today? Definitely, and they're brainwashing them totally, telling the totally fibs. The owner's frank admission is something drivers have long suspected. But and just imagine how much they're ripping people off. Another worrying trend with skyrocketing prices is motorists refusing to pay. Police will be watching for an increase in service station drive-offs. Analysts say higher world oil prices are responsible for the spike with demand outstripping supply. I think motorists should get used to basically prices somewhere around about $1.50 to $1.70. With the prediction they'll stay that way in the lead up to Christmas. Evan Batten, 7 News.